And as students head back to school in the Philadelphia School District today, things are a little different this year. Well, for the first time ever, they're hitting the books before Labor Day. Our Matt Petrillo is at the School of the Future showing us other changes in store for the students. This is also the first time that all 200,000 Philadelphia School District students are going back to class on the same day. And while some school leaders admit they are a little nervous, they're also excited to have their students back. First day of school is just like the kids. Nervous, nervous energy, excited. <laughs> Richard Sheeran has been principal of the School of the Future for five years, and he's been looking forward to the pre-Labor Day start. Hoping everything goes exactly as planned, but I know better than that, so I'm just ready to be flexible, happy to see the kids, want them to get reacclimated. One reason for the change is to have an additional uninterrupted week of school. Many students are excited to start early, and some are even setting personal goals for the year. Well, just to like be better than last year. Hoping to get into like clubs and stuff like that with my friends, hang interacting with other people, and trying to learn new things with the teachers. There are other changes students in the Philadelphia School District will notice. Some buildings have been modernized. New tech-based classes are being offered, like robotics. And here at the School of the Future, we're going to have brand new Chromebooks for every single student to use. Uh, they will be taking them home. And this year is also the first time in 17 years the Philadelphia School Board is locally controlled. They tell us they're planning to have some town hall meetings at various schools throughout the year. We'll have when and where posted on our website, cbsphilly.com. West Philadelphia, Matt Petrillo, CBS3 Eyewitness News.